Highlighted text is a very popular style used in marketing materials, especially on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's a simple way to turn boring text into attention-grabbing headlines. And although these text styles are simple, it takes a lot of steps to create them in Photoshop. For example, if you want to highlight a paragraph of text like this, you have to draw a box for every single line of text. That's a lot of work. You also have to be precise, otherwise the results will look messy. But now with these Photoshop actions, you can create this highlighted text in just one click. You can also create a ribbon, pill-shaped button, underline your text with any color you want, and more. These are the very first Photoshop actions that can do this, and it's such an easy way to make any text look more interesting. If you're interested, keep watching and I'll show you how it works. After downloading the file, you can load them simply by double-clicking on the HTML file. It will then show up in Photoshop under the Actions panel. If you don't see the Actions panel, you can open it by going to Window, Actions. By the way, these actions are only compatible with Photoshop CC. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it compatible with Photoshop Elements or older versions of Photoshop because these actions are really pushing the boundaries of what you can do with Photoshop actions. To use the actions, start by selecting the text layer and then go into the Actions panel. Select the action that you want to play and then hit the play button on the bottom of the panel. The free version has three styles. One of these styles is the fluid box style, which is the style that I showed in one of my previous video tutorials. Except now, you can do it all in one click instead of a bunch of steps. If you get any message about selections, you can checkmark the never show again option and then click OK. This is just a trick that the Photoshop action does to detect the height of your text. By the way, the actions will not change your text size. It also won't rasterize your text layer. Your text layer will stay the same as it was before, and that's very convenient. If you upgrade to the Pro version, and thank you so much for your support by the way, you get more styles and features. Because there's a lot more styles, playing them one by one will take a lot of time. So to make things easier, you can select the Play All Effects action which will render all of the effects in one go. Before you play the actions, make sure that the actions is collapsed, which you can do by clicking on this arrow here. For some reason, Photoshop plays the action much faster when the action is collapsed. Another way is to switch to button mode which you can do by going to the actions panel menu and selecting the button mode. Anyways, let's play the action and let it run. Once it's done playing, you can pick an effect from the history panel. This will save you a lot of time compared to playing the actions one by one, and it will show up immediately because all of these styles are pre-rendered. The text styles are all vector shapes, with an exception for the pill style which is a high-res smart object that you can scale up to 4 times the size without any loss in quality. And the reason for this is because Photoshop isn't really good at converting round shapes into vector paths. So for better quality, I just decided to keep it a high-res smart object instead. For the fluid box style, there are two versions for it. One is for small text up to 100 pixels in height. This action can sometimes give you better results and helps reduce wavy edges that you might get depending on your font. Here are some examples of what you can create with these Photoshop actions. Hey, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you like these Photoshop actions. A while ago, I made a tutorial on how to create the highlighted text effect in Photoshop using a little trick, but still it was way too many steps. So with these Photoshop actions, it should make it much, much easier. 
If you need any help, you can open the instructions.html file and you'll find a link on how to contact me directly. Also, if you upgraded to the pro version, thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.